Hi everyone, I'm Steve Sabin. Welcome to this segment of Exploring SetPoint. Today we'd like to talk about the various module types that are used in the SetPoint system. And to do that, we're going to rely on our little four position rack here. Let's take a look at the leftmost slot. That is occupied by a module we call the Rack Connection Module, or RCM. The Rack Connection Module is basically used to bring 24 volt power into the rack. We have two connections, power one and power two. Uh, we bring the 24 volts in, it comes through this very simple circuit board, goes to this connector, and then out to two separate traces on the back plane of the set point system where that 24 volt power, uh, redundant power actually, can be used by each module in the system. Each module does its own power conditioning and because that's done on each module rather than centrally here in the RCM, that means a more reliable system because there is no longer a single failure point such as one uh, power conditioning uh, location for all the transducer voltages or all the uh, logic voltages and so forth. So uh, the RCM is a, is a very simple module. About all that is on this circuit board actually are some diodes for over voltage protection and uh, some relays for our, okay, uh, for our OK enunciation inside the rack. Let's take a look now at the module that is in slot number two, and that is called the System Access Module. The System Access Module's job is to provide communications with the outside world, and it does that basically through four connectors. This connector is for the display, our touchscreen display, and uh, this connector is for our condition monitoring software. We'll be talking about that in some detail in future segments here on Exploring Setpoint. Uh, the next connector is basically the Modbus communications to distributed control systems and PLCs. And then lastly, we have a slot here for an SD card. A, a uh, SD card in capacity up to 32 gigabytes can be put in the system for storing waveforms uh, and other types of data, and we plan to release that functionality in the future. There are two processors on the SAM. One is the ARM processor, and that does our Modbus communications and also some other system tasks. And then the larger uh, kind of gold-colored heat sink that you see here is covering up our Intel-based processor, which is running Windows 7 embedded. And that uh, processor and that operating system is used to run our touchscreen display software and also our new condition monitoring software, where waveforms and things are buffered, and then they are streamed out the port on the front of the SAM and over to our, our uh, OSI soft Pi software for historizing a display by our Setpoint CMS client. So the SAM is basically an optional module because it's providing communications type activities and not machinery protective functions. It is not designed to be in the critical path of the machine protection system. So we could pull the SAM out of the rack, uh, or a processor could fail, or some other component on the board could potentially uh, have a problem and it would not affect the ability of our rack to protect the machine. The next module type we'll take a look at is our universal monitoring module. It is a four channel module that can monitor basically everything except temperature in the set point system. So process variables, uh, vibration probes, velocity probes, accelerometers, case expansion, differential expansion, speed, uh, even discrete inputs. There are close to 30 different measurements that this module can make, so it's very universal and it's designed so that you configure it to make the specific measurements that you want. It's a four-channel device. It has four relays. It has four analog outputs for 4 to 20 milliamp type signals, and those are programmable, by the way, so not only uh, can you decide you want to put direct or 1x filtered vibration or gap voltage out on the analog uh, outputs, but you can also assign gap voltage from channel 1 and overall amplitude from channel 2. There's a lot of flexibility in how those analog outputs can be used in our configuration software. And then, of course, at the top we have our connector for the power out to the transducers and the signal in from the transducers. So that is a four-channel universal monitoring module. The last module type we'll show you in the system is used for measuring temperature and it is actually a six-channel card called the Temperature Monitoring Module, or TMM, 
and uh, we have inputs for six different RTDs or uh, thermocouples at the top here. In the middle we have our analog outputs and there's six of them because we have six channels and then we have four uh, relays that are used. Now I, I, it's probably important to note that these relays can be used for the signals that are on the card or they can be used for signals that are from elsewhere in the rack. Those relays are very flexible and they can be programmed uh, for not only other channels but groupings of channels with logical AND voting and OR voting and other types of voting. So that is a very brief overview of the card types, the modules that we use in the setpoint system. We have designed it intentionally to be very simple so that it is very easy to stock spares and uh, it's very easy to configure for virtually any measurement that you would need to make for machinery protection purposes. Thanks for watching this segment of Exploring Setpoint and we hope to see you again in the future.